Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Ikeo Evans, creative director of Ikeo's Glorious Heroes, and I'm coming at you with episode number five of Behind the Art. Let's get into it. <laughs> So let's get started, man. In today's episode, we're gonna cover the one and only, the GOAT, Fernando Rodriguez. He's a costume designer and fashion stylist for a few uh, movie sets and television shows. One in particular is David Makes Man. Definitely one of the GOATs in the game. So I wanted to do something different with this piece. Finding out that Fernando was a fashion stylist and also a costume designer, I wanted to tap in straight onto that aspect and concept. So I implement, uh, these Nike checks here as the scissors. I've removed both of the Nike checks on each shoe. I uh, removed one of the Nike checks from the inside of the right shoe and I placed it on top of the other Nike check overlapping each other. I wanted to actually allow it to look like scissors so it can resemble some black fashion scissors. These scissors are actually used for uh, styles. And I've also added on the front part of the right side of the shoe, a director's chair that had Fernando name on it. Right here on the front part of the base, you have the director's chair and you have his uh, signature hat. With one of his signature fedora hats sitting on the chair. I like to add mixed media. So I use measuring tape, real measuring tape, and I wrapped it around the shoe. Right here on the uh, outer exterior, the rubber sole, and as well as the heel part. And uh, I really like the way that the measuring tape had like this, the gold at the very top part, because I felt like it had complemented the lever lacing system that I installed. And on the toe cap, I've added an image with Fernando and Oprah. Right here in the toe cap, it's uh, Fernando and Oprah, right there. And I've added this color to actually coincide with the inside and with the David Mix Man poster. And I've used that same peach color, being consistent with the David Mix Man cover art. I figured it allowed the sneaker to pop. On the left sneaker, we have the same aesthetic as far as the measuring tape wrapping all around the shoe. And on the left sneaker, I've installed a profile shot with Fernando and his dog, Napo. You know, he loves his dog. And I've also, I put on the left side, um, there's the hang tag, something personal, something closer to the heart. So I decided to add his dog, Napo, as the hang tag. I decided to add a personable picture of him and his dog. And I've also added uh, this movie poster here, Nine Days. So when the Nike check was removed, I overlapped that whole entire base part of the shoe with the movie poster Nine Days. That's one of the films that Fernando worked on. And the inside of the right part right here you have uh, when he was on set of um, Nine Days. I also found another image on Fernando's Instagram that highlighted the creative process in doing the Nine Days film. It was, I believe, him working on set like mapping out the entire uh, wardrobe. The image was sharing Fernando's creative process. He said he likes to create the illusion of changing the actors into what they are not. I also did the insoles. Right here you have several photos of highlights from his career. And uh, I try to put some memorable moments right here on the insoles. We have the custom box, which uh, features the uh, Dave Makes Man poster and also the Nine Days movie poster. Merging both of the David Makes Man cover art as well as the Nine Days film movie poster onto the box. Here I've added, you know, a black and white picture on the front base part. I've added the wardrobe, um, stylist, costume designer, you know, the mannequins and the measuring tape to, you know, represent the measuring tape that's wrapped around the shoe. And I put him in his dog right here on the left side. Again, the left side represents for me something personable. And I added my signature with the Ikeos logo right here on the top. So that pretty much wraps everything up for this episode. Man, I want to give a big shout out to Kwame and Arlen for commissioning me to making these several art pieces for the David Mix Mag crew. I'm grateful to be able to be commissioned to create something, not only some art pieces that I believe that are personable, but something that each and every cast member can walk away from this project that they're working on and have something like a keepsake that they will always have and they will always cherish. So I'm grateful um, 
Shout out to Kwame. Shout out to Arlen. Shout out to everybody in the cast at David Makes Mad. Um, thank you for walking in your purpose. Because uh, you walking in your purpose gives me the opportunity to walk in mine to create some beautiful art. Be sure to stream on TV Network, David Makes Mad, streaming on HBO Max June 22nd. And also, I have the Be More Love collection dropping June 28th. I actually have one of the pieces on right now. This is where Tupac and Jada were actually at the Baltimore School of the Arts. So be on the lookout for that. And make sure if you haven't checked any episodes of Behind the Art, this is number five. But go back and check out episode one through five. Stay tuned, stay locked, stay gold. Thanks for watching.